kitchen today we are doing up some conch yeah we have the curry conch border size i don't bother watching we now forgot nothing not no, smaller than that so this is how we get the conch you prepare it at shop you, you cut out the little part right brother watson the little the little arm um, yeah. yeah them little black part there yes yeah we cut out them little black part they wouldn't really want them to panic but may i slice this up you know um not not overly thin but just you know a good bite size yeah and we have to curry this down with some with some shrimps and then thing there so as you see now yes as i was saying we get the conch from the 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 um fish man where? Run through the tenderizer. With the course. tenderizer. We run through the tenderizer. So that's why you see it have them little thing here, them, 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 the tenderizer uh, machine. So I cut it up. Otherwise, the meat is extremely tough. So that's why I even have to use the pressure cooker now. Because I am in a plan for stay all whole night. Wait for local food for eat. But when you put the pressure cooker in, you know, you use the pressure cooker for a little bit. You know, you don't want to make it too soft, but you want it to be manageable. All right. And we are going to sort out the thing as we go along. Yeah. A long time, we're not doing a little video around here. So, this is curry. This is not conk. curry. Yeah, we are, do, we are do probably one whole head of garlic because I like garlic and I want the thing proper. You see, when you are. When you when you when you using the pressure cooker, you 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 want to make sure it's it flavored the same way. Cause conk, conk is not a meat that carry whole heap of flavor, right? It take the flavor of whatever ingredients you put in there with it. Yeah, so we have to make sure say it garlic up and, and the curry burn a little bit in other thing and yeah, everything nice. As you can see, me, me, me cleaning on top, I go wash it with some vinegar. Now, this may not be the way in which you do your curry conk, or how you prepare conk, because I know like all the Bahamian them prepare conk a little bit different. But we definitely is building a thing here, you know? And one thing I always say is, is not, is not the, the, the style of preparation is the, is the finishing. That we really a work off of them little skin there and, and them little extra skin them in a light them. So I always take them off. Now you might keep on yarn, but me I take off my one. Yeah? Cause me just not like them. Alright, so stick around and make we see how the party have a turn out. Yeah, the belly kitchen. Curry conk. Remember. All right, so I just put in the eye for burn and, and it's up on all my nose. I'm going to add in my conk now. Put that in the pressure cooker. So pretty much what you have here is just curry, conk, and a little oil. And we're just going to make this build just a little bit. Yeah, see, it, 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 the curry stand up already. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to just add my little stuff to this and pressure it so that the curry start to smell, that the conch start to um, tenderize. As you can see now, I'm adding in my garlic and my, and my um, onion. And not because I'm going to pressure it means I don't want flavor, I'm going to make sure it has flavor. You know? I say, ladies and gentlemen, the curry chang, 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 chang. Your whole house, everybody a calf. Call the curry. But right now, what we're gonna do, as I said, we're just gonna bill on this. Yeah, I'm gonna um, put a little bit more ingredients in this and make it pressure, and then have it as a base. And then we're gonna have use this as a base for build our main dish. Which is again conk, but with shrimps added, yeah, and a fresh shrimps too. No, 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 no steel shrimps, fresh, fresh shrimps. So watch it and see what I want. We just take the, yes, boy. Just take the the conk off of the pressure cooker now. Well, take the, the you know turn off. Aye, oh my bone myself. 
and we are gonna try it now. If we see if it if it tender enough, alright, one tender right. The tender, the tender it tastes good. Tell me what it wants. Salt. It wants salt. No, me never want over salt it. No. Yeah. No, so, I don't want a salt. You don't want a salt. All right, it's good. The gravy part salt. The gravy part salt because at uh, the Maggi, me use one Maggi bullion cube, just one bullion cube. Cause this at uh, this at uh, the beginning. So folks, now that me do this, me have to move this out of the way and then put on my shrimp. And then you see the whole thing though. But me have to prepare my ingredients for curry my shrimp. So, I build where I build. And now I have some coconut oil in this pot. And to this pot, I have to pull on it. Alright, pepper one of fields and pepper there. To this pot now, <coughs> I'm gonna add some garlic. I'm gonna add back a little bit more curry. Oops. And this is Jamaican curry, ladies and gentlemen. We them call beta fat curry. You know, my wife usually mix them, so you get two different kinds. But we we'll put the curry in, let the curry burn a little bit, flavor out the pot. Yeah, yeah, it look like pretty, like a, a, a picture. And to this now, I'm going to add my shrimps, you see them? But this time we're not taking off the skin. Yeah, we're not taking off this the shell or nothing, we're doing it in the shell. Alright? Now that I add my shrimps, I'm going to turn up my fire because I didn't want the curry to burn. So that's why I turned down my fire. So now, as you can see, as the shrimp start touch the pot, it start get pink. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Lord Jesus, pink. Whee! My head I hurt me already. I'm going to reach no weight in my life. Hmm? Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. So this is the first step, right? Now, my family uh, and my friends, them will love the shrimps with the head and everything. Head, foot, and I'm back. Sorry, you understand? <laughs> if you're afraid of you, you can't your head. All right, see that? So if you're afraid of you, you can't your head. All right? Now, now to this, I'm going to just put in some onion. I'm going to cut my onion them straight over the stove. Normally we cut it from the cutting board and prep the thing them nice. But yeah, we we'll do the thing this way now. Mm. Well, mm. Hey, me don't want no whole pepper you know? No, man, I don't want to put it from the green. Can, can, can I tell you, stay there. I said that I'm put it away from the green. You look like you and my wife put me out. Yeah. Hmm? I want to show you for you. I'm <laughs> <laughs> not going to shed it now. See if you and your pepper. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this curry shrimp is not, again, is not necessarily like what you would do at home, but you have the belly do it and thing a little bit, little bit different. Okay? So I'm putting onion on them now. And we just a build a stir fry, as I said. Stir fry. Normally we cook, cook curry in a, in a sauce uh, and, and thing, make it very strong in the sauce and stuff but we're gonna get there, we're gonna have our sauce because remember we're gonna add the conk but for now we just want the shrimp to cook like stir fry yeah so we that's our bill Oh I forget for put on my potato for boy Oh my shrimp look waxing. Oh shrimp them look. <laughs> yeah, look up your plate. <laughs> uh, it's, uh... So in the pot as we say, curry, shrimp, garlic. I'm going to add the things, 
Hey, give me a couple of them chair right there. No, man. I mean, no. Well, you know, I mean, I mean, enough, 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 but I mean, enough. Enough, yeah. Yes, folks. Look for me. Look for me thing, man. Look for me thing. Look how my thing I look. My thing looks sturdy. Yeah. Me just add a little bit more um, olive oil. I add some olive oil because me not really have done the whole of my coconut oil pan 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 the food yeah. So I add some olive oil. Now where the, the shrimp is right now is where you really want it to be because where it is right now is where you can add your vegetable them now but before i do i have this um this is a 21 seasoning salute from trader joe's and that this is no salt it just have a nice bill yeah put that in there and then never work with me as soon as can i get the cup again Hmm? I don't know what you want to get up, man. I don't know what you want to get up. Mr. Brett, I want some. Let's make it something nice, man. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Gentle people. That food is turning up. I don't tell no lie. That shrimp here, it's a occur. Remember the ingredients then now? I'm ready for the ingredients. So next thing we're going to add now is our, our vegetables. And we have some simple things here. Hey, oh, I, the pepper? Sure. I don't get no bun. I put carrot in first. I'm going to stir it a little bit. Yeah. Then I put in my celery and my pepper. Bell pepper, that are the bell pepper, the pretty one, and then this are some scotch bunny. And if my wife complain, ladies and gentlemen, on a day of the sea, say, and on me, a brother Watson do it. I him do it. Those are telling her from now. Alright, so my thing set now, so my thing there, I did so my thing there. And then we just have add a tips of water. No, guys, in my in my shirt. No, it's not spring. Trust me, it's not spring. Remember, say last time I see him when we did the pepper shrimp, I never spring. So now this I got I got to stay there and go on permeate. Yeah, that's by the way, that's my new word. You know, permeate is a new word that I I, I invent. And what I'm gonna do right now is to add my conk and when i add my conk i'm gonna turn down my pot and leave it turn on the stove, oh, on the stove. i threw me confused you know me confused it's it too nice so i'm gonna turn down the stove now and leave it to finish permutating all right so here goes my conk remember this was on the in the pressure cooker and it was building because i had to um tenderize it so i didn't want the thing to yeah once again you had the belly doing thing a little bit different don't complain don't tell me say i'm not so full no one to do and all of them something there you know but 
big up to all the folks who listen and um, watch the thing and remember to subscribe to yard the belly in a foreign yeah for your original authentic caribbean dishes this is my curry shrimp with conk brother watson come look here <laughs> Come look at Brother Watson. Brother Watson, Brother Watson, look, look there, look there, look there, look there, look there, look there, look there. Look for me something, Brother Watson. Look there. They come drown. They come drown the trims. <laughs> Boy, I'm in a business, me. I eat the whole light. Hey, when on a see this, I go play at it out, because over there, so, I have some Irish Aguan bill. In a one pot up there, so, I have some white rice with done bill already. Uh, over here, so. You see? You see? You see? No? You see it? A, it, a, it a permutate? That's what it's doing. It's permutating. I don't know about Uno. But this one look like it's going to be a winner. Yeah, the belly in a foreign. Peace out. We soon come back. We soon come back. We're going to plate it. We're going to plate it. So here is the finish dish ladies and gentlemen yeah presented with some nice vegetables some red um spinach and some iceberg lettuce and and i want tall glass of lemon yeah my corn come my shrimp turn out brother watson tell the truth tell the truth that one yeah me not tell no lie ladies and gentlemen that one yeah hot that one yeah take the cake this are the wifey plate, cause I can't eat all of them foreign looking plates when the foods are nice. I'm not telling no lie. This me have to go get one big jug or something. Yeah, the belly that foreign. Jeez, I'm Why? Why?